Hey class, today we are going to talk about uh, installing Google Backup and Sync on your student computers. Uh, the reason why we need Google Backup and Sync is if something happens to your computer and it's out for repairs or you switch seats or just anything happens, your files will be backed up. In addition, through Google Backup and Sync, you'll have access to your class files from anywhere through Google Drive. If you don't watch any VidUp video at the beginning of the year, you need to really watch this one because this is going to be a huge part of the class procedures you're going to need to do for the whole year. So be sure you pay attention and follow along every step of the way. To get started, you're going to log on to your student computer. Type in your Mesquite ISD login and password. As you can see up here, we don't have the Google Backup and Sync set up. So it's on your student computer, but we have to set it up. So the first thing we need to do is click on Finder at the bottom left corner. And then you're going to click on Applications. And I'm going to go to List View right here to make things a little bit easier. Scroll down under Backup and Sync from Google. So double click on that, click open, and then click get started. Well, first off, let's do sign in from browser instead. Through your browser, you're going to type in your Mesquite ISD email. I'm typing in a student email. Don't forget the mesquiteisd.org. Click next. And then you got to do it one more time. What you got to do is click allow. And then you go back to here, click got it. I might change my mind on this, but for now, I will set it to back up anything you save on your desktop, documents, and pictures folder. So that's for this computer here. Click got it. And then for Google Drive, we're going to sync everything. So if you already have stuff on your Mesquite ISD Google Drive, it's going to sync to this computer so you can access it there as well. Now there's a lot of benefits to this because we're going to be using Google Classroom and when you turn stuff in, it'll be able to pull it from your Google Drive so you won't even need to go drag it from your computer. It'll just uh, reference it from Google Drive. So this is a great feature that Google offers. We're seeking everything. Now you can specify certain folders if you want to get specific, but we're just going to sync everything because we storage, it's unlimited. Google Drive shows up in your sidebar. Notice Backup and Sync is setting up. Now every time you log in, Backup and Sync is going to open up and every time you save something inside that folder, it's going to start synchronizing. So I can already see the file synchronizing. Now the first thing what you're gonna do is, I sent a file to your desktop and it's in a folder called Land School Files. Open that up. Whenever I send stuff to you through, throughout the year, it's gonna be in this folder. If you're taking digital media, there's gonna be a folder called Dim Stuff. If you're taking animation, it'll be AN1 Stuff. If you're taking audio video, it'd be AVP stuff. A student's going to be in DIM, so we're going to drag DIM stuff right into the Google Drive folder. Okay, so open up the DIM stuff folder. Like I said, if you're in AVP, it'd be AVP stuff. And then there's a folder called Name Documents. Now, what I want you to do is click one time and hit Return. And it lets you rename it and you're going to change name to be your name now this is Justin so I'm going to type Justin Justin's documents and then it's renamed now this is where you're going to save all your stuff in this class throughout the year so to make things easier we're going to drag that to the sidebar you see that little line that pops up that's where it's going to go and you just release and it puts a shortcut to that folder right there so you just click on it and it shows the, 
the file. Now, there's supposed to be a whole six weeks uh, folders right here, but we'll be here when, when I get it to you. So each six weeks, there will be folders. We'll have files that you'll need for lessons and exercises and assignments. So I try to make everything as easy as possible to make class go smoothly. In conclusion, this is where you're gonna save all course files in this class throughout the year. Google Drive allows you to have a backup of all your files. This will enable you to have backups in case you move computers or your computer is out for repairs. In addition, to ensure that you always can find your work, be sure to follow the file saving guidelines that I have established for my classes. And backup and sync should start automatically when you log in each day. In addition, you can view on your browser and visit Google and you can see all your files are in Google Drive. So whenever you save it on here, it syncs it up to Google Drive. So when you're at home, you can access your files and you can put it on there and save and it'll sync right back on this computer. It's a great feature that's available and you have unlimited storage at this time. So take advantage of this feature and be sure that you don't skip this part. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.